it's frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hey guys, NTC here, and you know, over the years we have been given so many Christmas classics. Specials like How the Grinch Stole Christmas, The Charlie Brown Christmas, and even films like The Nightmare Before Christmas have now become staples of the holiday, and people still continue to watch them even to this day. But for every good Christmas special, there's always a bad one. These are the ones that are either stupid, ones that don't even try, or the ones that praise materialism over the true meaning of the holiday. And it's mostly because of those reasons that these specials suck. But there has been some debate over which one is actually the worst Christmas special of all time. And some have agreed that The Christmas Tree is probably the worst Christmas special of all time, including The Nostalgia Critic. And, yeah, The Christmas Tree is really, really, really bad. But the Teen Titans Go Christmas special comes pretty close. Yep, that's right. Even Teen Titans Go got a Christmas special. Twice. But I'm not here to judge that latest one. I'm here to judge this episode. The true meaning of Christmas. Now, is this episode just kind of bad? Or is it just as bad as the Christmas tree? Well, let's find out. Right here, right now. This is the true meaning of Christmas. So the episode starts three years ago. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Like, the special came out in 2015, but yet it's set three years ago back in 2012. And the times look exactly the same. And the show itself would start in 2013. Ah, forget it. So we see the Titans get up and head to their tree on Christmas morning, expecting presents. But to their shock and amazement, they find no presents under the tree. And on top of that, they find out that Santa didn't eat the cookies and drink the milk. So they're kind of saddened about this. But then they come together and realize what the true meaning of Christmas really is. Christmas isn't about presents. Indeed, the true meaning of Christmas is found in the gifts wrapped in flesh and filled with the bones and fluids. That's right, Starfire. It's about friends and family. Death dolls with bows of holly, fa la 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 <laughs> I love you guys. Aw, that was actually sweet. No, really, guys, I'm not kidding. That actually was a nice moment right there. And I dare even say that that moment was actually kind of genuine. I mean, it was quick, to the point, and seeing them all together singing was actually kind of a nice thing. So, yeah, I have no problems with it. And, hey, maybe this Christmas special might not be so bad after all. I mean, come on, that was actually a good start to the episode. I mean, what could possibly go wrong after a great moment like that? Wait, two years ago now? Okay, so they, uh... Okay, now I've got a bad feeling about this. Just remember the true meaning of Christmas. Being together with friends and family. Friendship. <sighs> Let me guess. They're gonna say that the true meaning of Christmas is presents, correct? So now we cut to present day, as the Titans' suspicions on Santa are confirmed. Turns out he actually does know the Titans, and knows exactly where they live. So, why aren't they getting any presents from Santa? Well, according to Robin, it turns out... We are on Santa's naughty list. Well, no fucking shit you guys are on the naughty list. I mean, do we need to point out all the reasons why you guys are on the naughty list? I mean, you guys have done a lot of bad stuff. Like breaking into government labs, beating up innocent creatures for no reason at all, and also kidnapping an innocent man dressed up as a clown so you could use him in a torture experiment to turn him into, well, that. So yeah, I am definitely not surprised that you guys are on the naughty list. But apparently they are. So after hearing that, they start bickering with each other and putting the blame on each other. What was the point of trying to be nice all year? Uh, so you don't act like a dick? Okay, I gotta ask this question. So, Santa is not giving you any gifts. Why don't you just go down to the store and buy the stuff that you want yourself? 
I mean, I think we all know that Santa does not exist. And we all know that the presents that we get on Christmas is really from the parents. They buy them at the local stores and so forth. So, Titans, if Santa's not going to give you any present that you want because you're on the naughty list, then why don't you just go down to the store and buy the gifts that you want yourselves? I mean, it's not that hard. It's really simple. But no, they instead decide to come up with this stupid plan. They're going to try to go to the North Pole, break into Santa's HQ, so they can find the naughty list and get their names off the list themselves. Because yeah, that'll work. So after using a jet, they finally get to the North Pole. But in order to enter the HQ so they can find the naughty list and not get caught, they're going to need disguises first. So they go up to some innocent elves putting up a Christmas tree and do this. Excuse me while I go bang my head against the door. So the Titans decide to split up so they can find the Naughty List faster. First, we see Cyborg enter the workshop. And when he gets to the elves, he tries to ask him where the Naughty List is. But they tell him they have to be quiet. So, what does Cyborg do? Yell at the top of his lungs so he can distract every single elf working. So when the boss elf comes down to try and find out who's causing all the commotion, Cyborg frames it all on an innocent elf that didn't do anything. Guards, get this elf out of my workshop! No! Oh, fuck you, you robotic asshole! After that, we cut to Beast Boy in the stables where all the famous reindeer are at. What up, reindeer dudes? Comment, give me some hoof. Blitzing looking good, baby. Yo, what's up with Lightbulb Nose, huh? Wait, how come he knows the other reindeer but not Rudolph? Wait, wait, oh, I get it. It's part of the joke where how can you remember all the other famous reindeer when you can't remember the most famous out of them all? So, yeah, I get I get the I get what joke they're going for here. But the problem is that doesn't work when your main character starts doing stuff like this. Yo, what's up with light bulb nose, huh? <laughs> what are you afraid of the dark? <laughs> nah, but for real, I'm just messing with you, night light. <laughs> Yep, that's right, Beast Boy bullies Rudolph. And this leads to him getting mad, taking Xana's sleigh, and hightailing it out of there. Oh, fuck you, you little snot-faced piece of shit. So after that, we cut to Starfire and Raven as they apparently find the gingerbread man's house. Weird, but okay. So they try to ask him where the list is, but then they barge in because they realize that the entire house is made out of candy. Aww, what a cute little cookie cat! <laughs> oh my god! Starfire just ate that cute little cookie cat! But wait, it actually gets worse. Not only does Starfire eat the cookie cat, but also she along with Raven starts eating every single thing that's in the gingerbread man's house! that's in the gingerbread man's home, but they also end up eating him! And no, the cheerful music does not help either. Ah! Mm, delicious. So after that disturbing his hell scene, we cut to Robin as he finally finds the naughty list. And once he finally does find Teen Titans on the list, he simply tries to erase it with a pencil. But through the power of Santa magic, it instantly reappears. So we try several different ways in order to get it off the list. Like using Whiteout, and even trying to blow it up with a detonator. But, of course, all those attempts end in failure. <laughs> but eventually Santa catches Robin, and not only that, some of his guards catch his friends as well. <laughs> now tell Santa what you were thinking. We're sick of not getting Christmas presents. It's been three years and not one gift. What are we, animals? How do you expect us to enjoy Christmas? Oh, I don't know. How about spending time with the people you love? Donate your money away. Donate some of your old toys away to people that really do deserve it. Um, spend time with others that are probably having a bad time during this time of year. Or... Any other reason, like you can enjoy Christmas for other reasons other than presents, guys. 
So, of course, Santa tells them that the holiday isn't about getting presents. <laughs> Christmas isn't about presents. I am sorry, friend Santa, but you are the crazy. Starfire, you, along with Raven, just committed a breaking and entering, vandalism, and a double homicide. You are not one to talk about crazy. Even on the naughty list, even without presents, you can still enjoy Christmas. Christmas is a time for family and friends to come together. A time for the people of the world to forget their troubles and instead focus on being good to one another. Yes, that is right. So after hearing that, Rod asks him this question. If that is what Christmas is all about, then why the heck does he give people gifts? Oh, that. <laughs> It's just a bit of fun. It's meaningless to the holiday, really. So Robin tries to prove that presents are the most important thing about Christmas by doing... <sighs> this. Well, if it's meaningless, you won't mind if I do this. Oh. My. God. Robin just blew up the fucking workshop. Possibly killing every single elf that was in there. Th th that's something that Isis would do. What the hell? So, how does Santa react to that? My, my. You really are naughty, aren't you? What the... Oh, my God. He's not even phased. But perhaps you did us a favor. Uh, no. No, 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 no. That's not how Santa should be reacting after he saw his fucking workshop blow up. No, 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 no. He should probably be reacting in two ways. A, he should probably be sad and crying right now, or B, he should probably get pissed at the times for what they've done. But no, instead he reacts that way. So Santa decides to sit the Titans down and do what he was talking about before, spending time with the people you care about during this holiday. Okay, at least Santa still believes in what Christmas is really about. Good. The Titans haven't gotten him to crack. Now you'll see how wonderful Christmas can be just by being together. This is great, right? <laughs> just hanging out. No, 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 no. Santa, please don't crack right now. Please don't. Should we eat or something? Please, no, no. Santa, do not give up. No. No, 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 Santa, do not give in. No, you are right. You're always right. You know what the true meaning of Christmas really is. No, no. Look, Santa, you are an icon to many kids all over the world, and you are not one to quit. No, don't get in. Don't get in. Don't get in. Oh, this is terrible. So, so terrible. No. <laughs> Santa gives in! So Santa realizes that Christmas sucks without presents. And not only does he thank the Titans for showing him the true meaning of Christmas, not only do they bring the workshop back, not only does he take their names off the naughty list, but he also decides to get rid of the naughty list altogether, which means that not only do the good kids get presents on Christmas, but the bad ones get them too, including some of the Titans' enemies. <laughs> fuck you, 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 Twenty minutes later. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry for the delay. 
But I'm sorry, I had no choice but to break every single goddamn window in my house after watching that ending. So, that's the episode. What are my thoughts? Well, not only do I think that this episode is just as bad as the Christmas tree, but I think that it's far, far worse. This episode is just awful. It's stupid, unfunny, the writing is bad, and its message is just as bad. It is by far the worst Christmas special I've ever seen. Period. Aside from the beginning, everything else in this episode is just terrible. And also, I'm just going to come out and say it, but I think that this episode is even worse than Return of Slade. Yep, that's right. The Return of Slade is no longer my least favorite episode from the show. Hey, at least give it some credit. It only managed to piss off the Teen Titans fans. But this episode? Not only does it insult the Teen Titans fans, but it also insults the people who love Christmas and know what the true meaning of the holiday really is. And you want to know what the worst part is? This episode actually is making me question... What does everybody really think that Christmas is really about? Like, do people really think it's just about presents, commercialism, just advertisements? Is that what people think of when they think of Christmas? Is that what they always think of? Is that what they ever think of? Just, I don't know, folks. I just don't know. Oh, hey, buddy. What you doing? Oh, hey, Bizarro Sam, I'm just, uh, just reviewing the Teen Titans Go Christmas special. Wait, did you watch The True Meaning of Christmas? Actually, yeah, how do you know about that? Because I watched it on my own, and man, it was terrible. Same here. But the thing is, surprisingly, this episode is actually making me question something. Which is? Are presents really the most important thing about Christmas? Like... Is materialism more important than just being nice? Is buying the latest toy from Target to satisfy your kid more important than giving some money away? Or is just getting the latest stuff at some sort of iTunes place just so you can satisfy your own needs more important than uh, donating to the Salvation Army? I mean, is that is that really what people think is most important? I mean, I just don't know anymore, Bizarro Sam. I just, I just don't know anymore. Well, I might not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but I do know what the true meaning of Christmas is. Really? What's that? Christmas is about just being nice to others, giving and sharing, and also putting effort into anything that you do, and even the littlest thing, like saying Merry Christmas to somebody or making somebody feel good. That's great! And you can do a lot of things around this time of year. You could... Give your money away to charity. You can help other people. You can even sit with a homeless person and talk to him and just make him feel good. That's what's so special about Christmas. Because it's the time of year where we can put away all the bad stuff that has happened to us in the past and just focus on trying to be nice to everyone around us. Family, friends, and even strangers. That is what I believe Christmas is all about. Wow, you really believe that? Yes, and if nobody else sees that as the true meaning of Christmas and just think it's just presents and all that, then they're as blind as a person with 28 vision. 28 vision. Whatever. But really, NTC, that's what I truly believe Christmas is all about. <laughs> wow. I can't believe you actually believe in that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for telling me what you believe what Christmas is really about. I really needed that. You're welcome, buddy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, hello, chap. Oh, hey, Reznov. Hey, I'm just about to be heading off for the holidays. So I just came here to say, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> and a Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> lie, lie, lie. <laughs> Hey, uh, Bob? Yeah? Your night's over. You can go home now. Really? Wow, thank you. 
Bye. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Stay right there. I got something for you. What? What is it? So, do you remember that you've always said that you wanted that raise? Yeah. Well, here you go. <gasps> really? You're giving me your $100 bill? Yep, it's all yours. You deserve it. After all the work that you've done, you need that. Go get yourself something nice. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Bob. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a like and a subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'm the NTC. And I leave you with this. Have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and also, this episode can go fuck itself.